at the end, but I don't want the signal to keep fucking up. So Brittany out there, Derrica is right there, Tiff right there, J-Rock right there. Um, my big bro in real life, who I look up to in real life, Wall Street Trappers right there. Of course, Lord Grace all over this motherfucker. I can't show y'all the front of the house. My my signal gonna go bad, but I got the whole crib done. Uh, my big bro in real life, David Banner right there. My other big bro in real life, Nip right there. My real big bro and my little bro right there in that frame. My mama that's 54, but still look like she 32. She right there. My other little brother. I got nothing but brothers. My other little brother right there. And as we travel this way, you'll see it'll really take you into my world and in my mind. So from the cos cosmic out of space shit to the gold in home banking right there. Um, it's a famous picture of Derrica with a, with a M16. That's that's a recreation of that picture. Of course, it wouldn't be right if I have unlearn and relearn on the wall. Um, that's the unlearn side right there. Of course, y'all know your boy is a Leo, August twentieth. So we got to have the lion. Got that eye up there. So I'm watching you niggas. Of course, it wouldn't be right if we ain't had a welcome sign. So you got welcome to Graceland right there. Uh, I liken myself to a gorilla at times, so that's why you see a gorilla. I liken myself to a spider at times, so that's why you see a spider. Um, that eye right there, that was real, really y'all. That was decoration. I don't know what, I don't know why bro did that. I'm not complaining. Bro did his fucking thing. Y'all know my motto been gold, land, and guns, and all that since day one. Um, y'all know the motto. Let me zoom in if I can. Gratitude over attitude. We live and die by that. So that's something I want to see every day. Right there is a scroll. So what we're going to do with that is all my children are going to individually come write their own name on the scroll. Y'all know I like I like what I like. So you see the other things at the end. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the back of the house. I would do the front, but my signal is really tripping right now shit i ain't i ain't even get to go to the side of the crib and the signal start acting up um so bro is currently working on this that's a that's a hammerhead no that's not a hammerhead that's a great white shark that he's currently knocking out and then he gonna swing back through and he's going to customize the entire floor around the pool and then our next step is for him to go in the crib and he's gonna customize my walls basically throughout the entire crib so from the moment that you walk in. Um, so would you say you made your house a, a, a live vision board? That is a good analogy. I'll say this though. You know, I, I know a lot of people don't like to have these conversations, but I like, I'm very realistic. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think this, this level of re realization helps me do more than most people or helps me take life more serious or not take it serious, whatever the case is. So, no kid, you said I want to do acid and come to your house. That was one of the main goals. Like, so listen, y'all. When I'm my driveway, like half a mile long, but at some point he gonna. I want him to customize that. So I want to take that Alice in Wonderland thing, but of course it's Graceland. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take the Alice in Wonderland thing, and then we are gonna go from there and just like you know, of course we are gonna put that we are gonna put that seasoning on it that our culture put on shit. But uh, but yeah, um. The goal though, the goal is uh as I told y'all the same same with my with my primary house in Florida. These are gonna be museums one day. These are gonna be places where my great grandchildren can come and really like know who I was if I'm not around. They'll know that I loved all their what would that be, their great grandmas? I loved all their great grandmas. I I honor all their great grandmas, like despite whatever personal issues or whatever took place, um, everywhere I go I'm gonna honor them. Everywhere I go, I'm going to pedestal them. And they motherfucking kids going to know, like, all in all, like, my daddy loves you. My daddy fuck with you. And that's the only memory he really wanted. You know, like, I'm I'm pretty popping. I could, I could easily, like, do some negative shit or say some sucker shit on camera or any of that. But if I die tonight, all my children just, they, they greatest and latest memory going to be like, my daddy fuck with you. My daddy loved you. I don't know what happened with y'all because I was a kid. But I know everywhere I go that that man went. That nigga big y'all up. You feel me? That nigga saluted y'all. That nigga literally 
That nigga literally put y'all on the windows and the walls. He wanted motherfuckers to know, like, nigga, they're my people. That's my family. So, yeah, bro, that was the main goal. And like I said, like, I know my value and I know who I am. And I know at a, at a certain point, <clears throat> from a business standpoint, my children will be able to leverage these areas as landmarks. Trust me. I assure you, like, if any of y'all hear when I'm gone, and when I say gone, I mean dead and gone. Um, I guarantee y'all gonna look and be like, man, them little niggas making a million dollars a year turning their pops' cribs from Florida to Georgia, everywhere he got them into museums. So that's all I do. We just, <clears throat> to get back to the answering bro question, bro, that was the whole goal, man. Just build a crib that you don't got a vacation from. So that's why y'all rarely see me out, y'all. Like, I got, every, like, this crib is three levels. This crib is three levels in three parts. Like, I'll show y'all something real quick, but y'all looking at the main crib. It's a whole nother one right there. So you looking at the main one, it's a whole nother crib right there. And y'all can't see the other one because it's, you could kind of see it in that crack in the gate. Y'all see the roof, but it's a whole nother crib over there. So yeah, bro, I'm, I'm in the middle. Uh, I want a skating ring on that side, content creation over on that, in that crib, basketball court, gym, everything. But that's the goal, bro, just creating Carving out a piece of this land, bro. Uh, carving out a piece of this land and just making that shit mine. But, yeah, bro. Um, that's the goal. That's what we on. So not only creating an environment that we don't want to leave, but creating an environment that our families can monetize at a later date. That is, that's the ultimate goal. So I'm hella comfortable everything look how i want i like color i like shit that's popping everything look the way i wanted to look everything moving and then bro when i die and get the fuck up out of here my children gonna charge people to come through here and feel this energy like people gonna have to pay to walk like i'm gonna tell you what gave me the idea uh i had went to memphis Mem memphis and i went to the lorraine oh, it is the lorraine or lorraine one of them but trap savvy i appreciate you bro but I went to the to the museum where MLK got killed. And it was just crazy that... Kanai, what's up, love? It was crazy, y'all. They still had his blood on the pillow. His room was, like, exactly how it was when he died. And when I saw that, I was just like, I'm on that. I'm finna do that. So, like, I ain't gonna lie. What y'all be thinking is niggas flexing and doing the most, man. I'm planning for the later. I ain't flex for what? I, I, it's no competition. I don't got to flex. Like, I, I fucking, I won already, man. I'm 33 years old. Like, when I went live with y'all yesterday, I was in Florida. And y'all heard the birds chirping. I'm live with y'all today in Georgia. And you just hear these motherfucking birds chirping and this, and this wind, and it's good. This, this wind feel fucking amazing. But yeah, for me, I, I be having to check myself and be like, bro, you already won. You feel me? What you going you doing all that extra shit for, for some niggas who ain't, who, who can't even do it even if they wanted to. So, yeah, bro. I be putting all this dope shit in my crib for investment purposes. You know, from the, like, when I, I've showed my, my living room set and my dining room set and my art gallery in my crib in Florida. That shit is, that's the, uh, that's what that shit about, bro. But well, anyway, y'all, uh, we about to get started. We about to, god damn it, this wind blowing like a motherfucker about to give me a paper cut. Do a lot of shit, but I don't do paper cuts, man. Core to core, you said you just doing you, you are love, you are light. Thank you. I appreciate you as well. Appreciate you as well. No, you ain't right. You ain't lying. I do just be doing me. That's. I ain't gonna lie, hey, bro, if you on here, <clears throat> I don't even know your name, but you in the coaching program, you gave your feedback the other day on how dope class was, and you was like, what y'all helped me realize is I really can't do no wrong when I'm doing me. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga, I didn't even break it down that, I mean, I did break it down, but not in those words, but bro, you simplified it so beautiful. So I wanna, I wanna say that real quick, y'all, and then we gonna get to these three things. Like I tell y'all, these three things that are killing us, right? Bro said, how could I ever be wrong if I'm doing me? 
And I think like with confidence and self-love, a lot of y'all don't be getting that. How can society, how can the world, how can your mama, how can me, how can social media, how the fuck can anybody tell you how to do you? I mean, I'm sorry, not how to do you, but that you're wrong for doing you. Because if you are an original, right? And I would hope you look at yourself as an original, like, nigga, I'm me. I'm dope. I'm amazing. I'm an individual. If you are moving and you're, if you are moving and your original frequency, the nigga is brand new. That means there are no rules, regulations, and guides. That means you're free to have this human experience and do it to the best of your abilities. Like, whatever you say is popping today. And this is how I think about myself. Nigga, whatever, whatever I say popping is popping. So, like, when niggas be like, oh, the tattoos, all your hair. Nigga, I'm, nigga, that shit popping. Bro, you see, you see how wise I am at 33? You see how successful I am at 33? You see how good my motherfucking kids look at 33? That's why I be telling niggas, hey, you might want to dye your shit and go get some locks, bro. You might want to tattoo your face because... Them niggas that be functioning in their individuality, we don't be hearing nothing y'all be saying. We don't subscribe to none of the trends. And we be winning. Like, we be winning on our own merit. Feel me? I ain't had to look like no other nigga to win. I ain't had to talk like no other nigga to win. I ain't had to dress myself up or be clean cut like no other nigga to win. I ain't had to go perpetrate with some cars and some shit I don't own like no other nigga to win. So, yeah. Uh, shout out to bro for giving that feedback. I love that. You feel me? But how you gonna tell a nigga how to do them? That's an original. My nigga, you don't, you don't know. You said, you said is the light skinned woman with the green eyes one of the mothers of my children? Uh, no. No. I know. Okay, so I know why you asking that because I said. I put all the mothers of all the mothers of my children in the windows on the walls. So if she's not one yet, but she on the wall, you feel me? Kind of let you know, like, y'all tell you I want ten children. I want ten kids. I'm not fucking playing. Spin City, what up, bro? I want ten children. I'm not somebody that lo loves harmony. No, it's all good that he asked because I was just showing the crib. I don't know if he just hopped on, but I was I was showing the crib. So I know, bro, only asking that because he saw the crib and he heard what I said. But yes, bro, I want 10 children. And yeah, bro, she she's that, she's that like game changing. Bro, I'ma tell y'all how like, uh, how to say this. I've made children out of love. I've made children out of proximity. Shit, I've made children out of codependence. But I have never made a child out of like straight value. And when this is what I mean. When you identify certain people, I know I know a lot of y'all don't function this way, and it's totally okay. It's just how my mind works. But when you begin to identify certain people, okay, let me take one step back. So y'all these days, I'm not into making babies out of love. Now I do want the love to be there, but I'm not into making babies out of love. I want to make babies primarily based off value and then secondary we go love. So I don't know how y'all function, and it's okay however you function, y'all. We all allowed to do our own thing. I ain't judging nobody, and I damn sure don't give a fuck what you got to say about me. You see where I'm at. You see how I'm living. I don't give a fuck about no nigga opinion, because ain't no nigga opinion got me to where I'm at. Doing me got me where I'm at. But anyway, um, at the age I'm at and where my mind is, I'm, I'm planting seeds with the hopes of like them advancing this family even more. So I don't know if any of y'all have ever talked to Tanisha or y'all. I know the, the people in the culture program, I know y'all talked to her because she be in there killing shit, doing her thing. Matter of fact, any conversation y'all don't have with Tanisha, if it was fire, do me a favor and drop them fire emojis. Feel me? Because a lot of y'all be missing out like a motherfucker. Um, bro, you said this, that, Nick Cannon shit. Hey, bro, do me a favor. I love Nick. Like, I know Nick. I don't, he's not my best friend, but I know him in real life. Bro, this is, this is not Nick Cannon shit, bro. I have two six-year-olds. No, two seven-year-olds, bro. I've been doing this a long time. Before any of y'all knew who I was, I was doing what I wanted with life, and I was taking life way more serious than most people. Like, y'all, yeah, bro, but I, I I feel what you're saying, bro, but it's this is not Nick Cannon shit. This is Derek going to extend his legacy 
and he going to have like 15, 15 of the most dangerous children that y'all ever seen. And his children going to change the game even more than he did because he was only one man. But he made 10 of him. You feel me? That's going to collectively come together like the goddamn Power Rangers. That's why I be telling y'all, hey, just watch and see. Y'all y'all done already seen what I did with Derek and Derek. That's a 14-year-old and a 10-year-old. You feel me? But anyway, shout out to Nick, though. Shout out to Nick. Love is love, bro. Always showed me love. Anytime we done talked to came across, it's always been love. And Derek fuck with him. So, yeah, it's always love for bro. But, no, nah, bro, this, this, this great shit. But like I was saying, so these days, I'm intentionally planting seeds. I'm planting the seeds with the intention that whatever me and that other person create, it is going to be an additive and an advancement to my family lineage. So I saw y'all dropping the fire emojis, but in terms of emotions, in terms of mental, in terms of spirituality, no human has advanced me more than that human that I just showed y'all on the wall. So what I'm saying is, bro, to answer your question, nah. She on there simply because, like, that's the goal and that's the intent. And I'm not, I, you know, I don't know if y'all know, but any of my goals, like, we ain't, we ain't backing down off them bitches. We ain't stepping down. We ain't doing none of that. You feel me? Whatever we said, we gonna do what we gonna fucking do. So, yeah, bro, uh, I genuinely feel like whatever her and I produce, it is going to have the a bit, like, the energy, the calm and spirit. Uh, the 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 understanding like bro she has helped me navigate some of the most dangerous moments of my life from wanting i don't even i can't even i'm not even gonna say on live what it is but she has helped me navigate in the last seven years she's helped me navigate some of the most dangerous internally and externally moments of my life so i feel like i'm already this shit but if i can procreate with a human like bro, I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all i'm rich here and i'm rich here but a lot of times like on a soul level i'm rich there too but i'm not as rich as i want to be you feel me so the yin and yang is like she's rich all in here like all in here so it's wealthy as fuck so again i know a lot of y'all don't think that way so I'm, I'm not trying to get y'all to think my way and see the world my way but i'm just one to believe that if I'm rich in this, you're rich in that. And we create something and impute both our DNA genetics and our wisdom and our game into what we create, it's gonna be a bad motherfucker. And I ain't gonna lie, like, I mean, I ain't gotta lie. You see my results already. Y'all know Derek are only 10 years old. You know Derek only 14. You feel me? So I had Derek at 18 years old. I'm going to give myself some credit and remind myself, boy, you a bad motherfucker. Because these niggas be 20, 30, 40 and still don't know what to do. Nigga, I was a teenager. Devon, what's up, beautiful? You feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give myself some credit. Yo, I ain't going to lie. I be sleeping on myself at times. I had that nigga at 18. Dude, have you seen the boy? Nigga, I was a baby when I had my baby. And, and y'all, all my children have been 100% intentional. I, I plan every single one of them. Oh, shit, there you go. He just joined the live. I was just talking about you play BZ. Telling them niggas how I had you when you was 15. And now you a bad motherfucking 14 finna be 15 year old. You feel me? I was on, you know what I'm saying? I, I was fucked up like everybody else. Because we all fucked up. We all got shit with us. But y'all, I been navigating on, on with an old nigga soul for a long time. And it shows like, I had that. I, listen, I had him as a teenager. And he's a teenager now. <laughs> Feel me? So listen, these next ones that's coming out, are these other are the, are the latest? Come on, man. This shit gonna be scary. And when I say scary, like in a dope way, it's gonna be like, damn, bro. That nigga, y'all, that be the funny part. Be like, that nigga still having babies? Yep. And they still like 10 steps ahead of these adults. For sure. But yeah, bro. Uh, that's the goal. I want 10 children. Bro, you said, do I ever worry about them financially? No, bro, I don't. Um, I don't worry financially, bro, because I, I'm... Okay, you know what? I'm going to get to this in a second, y'all. But y'all ask some dope questions. Bro, I don't worry financially. Um, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not... I'm not financially rich. 
I am asset rich. So, like, you know, a lot of niggas got a lot of money. I don't got a lot of money, bro. But I do got eight houses in one lot. I do have 31 kilos of gold. I do have a real in-home art gallery. You feel me? So, um, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't really be tripping. I've done enough, bro, that my kids are all right. You feel me? They, like, bro, hear what I said. I got $12 million in real estate. I got eight children. We ain't talking them kilos of gold. We ain't talking the art gallery. We ain't talking active businesses. Of houses alone. If we just if we just quick sold everything because we because the kids wanted some money, each child was still like having inheritance just off real estate. Of you know what what what's twelve divided by eight? What's that like one point? Yeah, that's one point five million dollars, bro. I wish I would have had a one point five million dollar uh, advantage over niggas. I wish you feel me. So just, just something to think about, bro. Like. Think about when you was 18, if a nigga had to hit you with 1.5, like how different your life would be right now, good or bad, you feel me? That make a huge difference, bro, because most of us had to get jobs. I had to get a job. Most of us had to go figure shit out. But no, nah, bro, we we all right. Bro, that's why I said I'm going to chill at 10. So when I get to 10, I'm going to stop and reevaluate my life and see like financially, where am I at? Can I keep going? Cause I'm not one to just bring children in the world knowing we struggling and fucked up and they they just gotta sit by and endure this struggle till I figure it out. But yeah, bro, I'm gonna I'm reevaluate my life at 10 children and then I'm gonna go from there. And if my shit still swinging the way I wanted to swing, which I'm sure it will be, then hey, you know, might be 12, might be 15. Bro, I picture myself as an old ass man on this property right here, this very property, cause this bitch is huge. I'm gonna be on my four wheeler with a long dashiki on with no draws, a big old gun on a mushroom acid, bro. And I'm just going, and bro, literally what I'm doing now, except I ain't going to be on live, bro. I'm just going to be an old man outside enjoying all this shit that he worked really hard for. I said, like, y'all, when I talk about foresight, that's what I talk about. Like, I, I really have seen myself at a later date. You feel me? And like, and like my crib that big, like the property, like the, I tell you, the house so big, it's split into three parts. So you got the main part in front of me, another house right here, and another house over there. But total, bro, right now, without me renovating, it's 14,500 square feet. It's enough room for all of us, bro. It's enough room. And then even when my kids ready to venture out, that's why I call this shit Graceland. Because I'm going to build other houses within my property. So they don't necessarily got to go away. They just could get the fuck out the main house and go live their best life, you know, an acre down the property and live their life and start their family and do whatever they want to do bro so that's a that's the goal bro that is my old like on some personal shit that's my overall goal i just want to be a vessel of wisdom for my children when i get old as shit you feel me they gonna come out here they're like where daddy at man you know that nigga at. you know that nigga on that four wheeler turned up chasing squirrels and shit laughing having a good old time but that's the goal bro and i'm not gonna lie bro i'm i'm grateful to say i'm halfway there i got the property i got the kids I just got to get old as fuck. <laughs> I got everything else, bro. I got the crib. I got the babies. I got the environment. We got the energy. We got the animals. You feel me? I got a farm. down. I ain't walking all the way down, nigga. That shit is like half a mile down. But I got a whole, uh, I got a whole farm out here, bro, with a, uh, with a ranch for the horses. The people I bought it from, they had horses, bro. So we, we have everything we need. Um, uh, I just got to slow down with where I'm at in life currently, but I'm not ready to slow down. I got a whole video game to drop. But just on some personal shit, bro, the video game is my extra strategy. That's the goal. The goal is to crack big enough, right? This the goal. I'll share this before I'm going to share it again. The goal is to hit, hit them niggas hard enough with the video game. I'm going to double back to Tampa. I'm going to buy my entire neighborhood. I know y'all y'all been hearing me talk about that for three years. It's only 13 houses in my neighborhood. I own four of them. I got nine more to go. They are roughly a million dollars, a million one. So I'ma need me like 10 M's just to just to finish that off. But bro, I'ma grab that and I'ma live off real estate for the rest of my life. That's my main goal, bro. I'm gonna live off real estate for the rest of my life. I, I tell everybody. Um, I mean, I've only been telling y'all for like five, six years, y'all. Get your land, man. There's so much shit you can do with land in America. And they not making no more, you feel me? So if you got the opportunity to snatch you up, so snatch that shit up. They ain't making no more land. You feel me? And, and if they do, it's probably privatized for a motherfucker that don't look like us. So we ain't gonna get access anyway. But 
Yeah, bro. I've I've learned a lot of tricks and trades of real estate. How to leverage this. How to how to borrow against that. How to make yourself your own bank. So that's the goal, bro. I'm gonna go grab my neighborhood, my whole neighborhood in Tampa. That neighborhood alone to put my real estate portfolio portfolio just that neighborhood at like twenty seven million dollars. Um, and once I grab that, bro, I'm gonna live off that for the rest of my days. Will the women be starting the garden, bro? My Tampa crib, I've been had a garden. Uh, out here, I'm sure they will, bro. You know, Georgia is not as tropical as Florida, but wherever we at, bro, we growing. Bro, wherever we at, we we just doing shit. We just outside fucking around and doing shit. But yeah, uh, so to answer your question, I can't even remember who name it was that asked that, but that's the answer, bro. Um, so if y'all ready to, you said starting your own community is the best way to prosper. Absolutely. Love, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I want my own, I mean, I got I got it already, but I've always wanted, like, my own part of the world, where, like, niggas couldn't bother me, and I ain't had to be forced to talk to niggas, I ain't had to be forced to be in environments and predicaments I didn't want to be in, so, like, this has always been a major goal of mine, this has always been a major goal of mine to, yeah, bro, to just, like I said, just carve out a piece of the world and make it ours, that's why that bitch literally back there say Graceland. It's the land, you feel me? That's where we at. Somebody said they missed the art. All right, y'all. Man, I'm showing this shit one more time. I'm showing it quick. I ain't a lot of my shit is nice, so I don't mind showing it. Like, I tell everybody, like, you know, a lot of niggas got the best drip, best cars, best all that. I got the best cribs. I really put a lot of work into my cribs to make sure, like, if you ever come here, it's going to be some shit you've probably never seen or you never going to see again. But real quick, bro. Oh, and don't forget, y'all. Y'all know we throwing my 31st bir 34th birthday party in August, just like we did the 33rd, and a lot of y'all missed out. So when tickets come available, I'm telling y'all, we're going to do the same thing we did last year. I'm only allowing 15 people to come. I ain't big on strangers. It'll be an overnight experience. It's going to be a three-day retreat. We're going to be paintballing, four-wheeling, shooting. Some of the same stuff we did at my last birthday in Tampa, but we got way more land and way more space, so we can do a lot more whatever the fuck we want to do. A real deal manhunt hide and seek like kickball it's big kid Any, anybody know me you know i'm a big kid it's big kid time you feel me we finna cut up that was one of the main reasons i, I had hurry up and have bro come do his thing because when niggas pull up in august fuck the party they're gonna be like bro i seen that nigga crib before nigga you need some 3d glasses at his house that shit is crazy but real quick bro uh again i wanted to honor the mothers of my children so that's why you're gonna see see them on the walls you see tanisha you see the lord you see chelsea um hopefully my phone will start fucking up you see knowledge god supreme you see supreme right my signal y'all cannot go that way but supreme is there derek is next to supreme Melanin next to Derricka. You can see Empress face a little bit in the window. Derek mom is down there. Um uh, let me zoom out. Come over here. You see you see Tiff. Tiff is who just had baby number four the other day that y'all saw. That's Mega Mom, God Mom, Knowledge, and Empress Mom. Of course, I got my DGZ up there. J Rock, that's Melanin and Derek Amon. Got to have my bro up there, Wall Street Trapper. Of course, wouldn't be right if the Lord wasn't all over his own house. I would show y'all the front, y'all, but my signal tripping. My brother's in real life, Wall Street. Neighborhood Nip. My three brothers in real life, Trent, Eric, Arlen. My mama, I have to say this every time. Yeah, my mama is so beautiful. My mama 54 years old. I ain't gonna lie, she be killing these 30 year olds. And again, like I said, y'all, along the wall is just like a walk a walk into my world, like the cosmos, the space. So I'm gonna tell y'all a funny one about this one. I feel like sexually, and it's just me being real with y'all, like let's be mature about it. We ain't gotta shift the conversation and act like little kids but sexually i feel like i be knocking motherfuckers into the cosmos like literally i'll knock your ass into the cosmos in the midst of this whole session you feel me so 
that's your boy. I'm your astronaut, sis. So oh, you want to jump on? You you want to get on a spaceship? You worth getting on a spaceship? Say less. Grab my hand. We headed to the cosmos. Of course, ancient Egypt things, cause you know we 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 royalty around this motherfucker. It wouldn't be right without in home banking. As I told y'all, that's a picture of Derricka. That's a famous picture of her I got on the wall in my Tampa crib. He redid it. But that's Derricka with the gold AK. Unlearn and relearn. That's why all the deers and shit be hanging out and throwing crazy parties. Um, Of course, unlearn and relearn again. Big Leo, 820. Got the eye up there. Welcome to Graceland. Um... Hey, you know what? All right, I'm gonna tell y'all two most. I'm gonna tell y'all one more story about the wall, cause like I said, y'all, the wall really tell a story. Like if you come here, and I took you on a tour, the shit is super dope. Like the story, right? So, of course, welcome to Grayson. That's a no brainer. So, when I'm, and again, y'all, we gonna be mature about it. I'm just, I'm, I'm like letting y'all in my personal world. Um, I'm letting y'all into my personal world. So, this is a gorilla, of course, right? And the reason I got the gorilla on there is because uh, when I'm in the midst of sex, there's a way that I like hover over women. Like my favorite, y'all, we being real personal. Like, and again, let's be mature. We don't got to get into no sex conversation. I'm just really giving y'all a real spill of the wall. So like my favorite position is the side, right? So I have this way that I hover over a woman when it's that time and it's the likening of a gorilla. So... <laughs> That's why the gorilla is on the fucking wall. <laughs> the Black Widow, right? Me and one of me and one of my homies talking one day, and he was like, D, you remind me of a spider. And I'm like, why you say that? And he was like, bro, people don't be knowing. They think they want to play with you, good or bad, but they don't know, like, if they get close to your web, as you as you can see, you see the spider sticking his leg into that eye over there. So basically, my one of my bros was like he he was like you remind me of a spider he was like bro when i see people get close to you it's like they get a little too close and they touch that web and you just you stick their ass wrap them up and you got them and and not in a bad way like it's a good way of course but that was the whole point of getting a spider on there because i do have a web i have and like my web to me my web is a beautiful one but like people get caught up in my web and you know whatever happens after that happens but yeah so that's that's just a breakdown of some of the art on the wall. <laughs> hey, I'm being, but you see why I say I'm going to make this bitch a museum? You see what I be talking about? Y'all like, um, imagine like if we was really back here and I had an hour to take you on a tour of just the outside of the house and just show you like, hey, this is why I did this. Hey, this is why I did that. Yada, yada, yada. Bro, we have a fucking ball. That's why I say all my houses going to be museums because they all tell a story. Every single one of them tell a story. But for real though, y'all, when we drop the tickets for the party, hey, you might want to get your tickets because I'm only I'm only doing 15 of them. Uh, to via my my birthday is August 20th. The uh the party will be August 19th, 20th, and 21st. It'll be a three day retreat. I me so everybody that pull up, y'all in for a treat. We're gonna be big kids. We're gonna blow some shit up. We're gonna we're gonna be doing some yoga. We're gonna do some shadow work. We're gonna have fun with our inner child. We gonna eat good. Y'all gonna meet the whole family. Y'all gonna get to meet Pops. Uh, Y'all gonna get to meet the whole team. Uh, you gonna sign an NDA, cause we have fun like a motherfucker and I don't need nobody going running their mouth about how much fun we had. None of that, you feel me? So y'all keep an eye out, but it's go time, y'all. Where it's gonna be, it's gonna be in Georgia. It's gonna be in Georgia. This I'm, I'm at my Georgia crib. All right, y'all, we finna get busy. Uh, y'all give me one moment please let me find my page so I'm gonna let y'all know now I'm gonna be looking back and forth from here to y'all cause I got my curriculum over here uh Phoenix you said thank you NDA oh no we gotta have them NDAs mm -mm, I don't need no I don't need nobody going to my bro that nigga's a wild boy I seen this nigga Pfft. no mm -mm. no 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 and y'all know my security company will be there, Grace Private Security, so you're going to be safe and sound. Yeah, that, I'm telling you, that's the dope part about having, like, investing in your crib. Nigga, I don't go to no club. I ain't going to no strip club. Y'all never been to a nightclub in my life, and Don't plan to. I ain't going to no club. I ain't going to no strip club. We ain't at the lounge. We ain't at the bar. We ain't at none of that. Nigga, we at the crib. 
I got 10 shooters. Now, on a regular day, no, I'm, I'm saying birthday party time. On a regular day, I got a couple, two or three security. But party time, bro, we got 10 shooters. You feel me? These all X Marines. Niggas, these niggas highly trained. Do we take phones? Hell yeah. No, you don't come here with no phone. So I'm going to tell you, like, my birthday party, the cameraman, he'll capture whatever you need to capture, and then he'll airdrop that to you. Or we'll send it to you via email. But no, no phones here. Mm -mm. No. We don't do no. Man, listen. We here to party. We ain't here to take pictures and video. We can let the cameraman do their job. But no, nah, no phones. Um, mm -mm. My security confiscate. Yeah, I'm real with you. We only let people come within like five miles of my house with a phone, period. So when we do stuff like that, you have to meet off the property. My security gonna pull up, put everybody in the van, and then, you know, y'all will be good to go. Hey, y'all, honestly, for everybody that's saying they want to come, now I'm telling you this, because I never tell y'all this. Go to my DM and just type in the word birthday. Go to my DM and type in the word birthday. I'll make sure y'all be the first people who know, because we're we going to make we gonna make the tickets available on May 9th, I think. But I ain't going to lie, it's only 15 of them, because I don't. Y'all know I ain't big on strangers. And, like, can y'all bring y'all own gun? No, nah, bro, no. No, nah, ain't nobody coming around me. Bro, I got security for that. No, nobody need no guns with me. Mm, no, bro, listen. My nigga, this is going to be the safest shit you ever been to. I assure you, bro. We don't play no games. We don't. It be love, bro. We having a good time. And we got niggas who on 10. And that's their job to do all that. But no, nah, bro. We are going to be shooting and shit. But it'll be our guns. But no, nah, ain't nobody pulling up. Ain't nobody pulling up with no guns. And... Yeah, bro. People don't even get to pull up in their own car. Nah. <laughs> Security gun. Uh, uh, uh. Da, da, da. Give me that phone. Oh, you got a gun? Let me get that real quick, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yourself a good time, my nigga. I'm going to get this right back to you when we done. But, uh, but yeah, bro. So, listen, y'all. Like I said, everybody, send me, DM me now. Send me the word birthday. And I will make sure y'all be the first people to get the link to come to, come to the party. I'm going to tell y'all, though. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all, man, just. Come with an open mind. Come to have fun. Come to be free. Biggest thing, y'all, is come to be a kid, man. If you super serious or you square, well, I ain't like, I fuck with squares, too. But I ain't gonna lie. If you super serious, don't don't hang with me. I be playing tag and shit. Oh, man, let me tell you, we're gonna have a ball. We're gonna play capture the flag. That shit, they're gonna be turned up. So, like, with paintballs, though. So, my, my, my property total is 15 acres. So, one team gonna go to the back. One team gonna go to the front. We're going to sound off the horn. And then this team of like 20 niggas got to get to that other team flag. And if you get shot, you out. We're going to have us a ball, bro. I'm just letting y'all know I'm a big kid. But like I said, when, when you purchase your ticket and all that, it'll give you a full rundown of what to expect. If you got any health conditions, if you don't want to run, don't want to participate, all that. But yeah, man, we we going to do kid shit. Man, we're going to paint. We're going to party. We're going to have a good time. Uh, we going to cut up. It's I it's there are a lot of dope women and beautiful women that support me and that love on me and that pour into me. You feel me? They gonna be there, the team gonna be there, the family gonna be there. Uh y'all 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 even meet y'all gonna even y'all gonna even get to meet the kids. There is one day where we have certain activities where they can participate. Other than that, they gotta go. I mean, Cause we be on we be on slime time, man. Somebody said white people don't leash it. Hey, shout out to Rissy. Rissy came through with her. Uh, Y'all know Rissy. If you don't know who Rissy is, she a dominatrix. So I ain't gonna lie, man. I was even blown when she pulled up to last year's party. And uh, yeah, I seen bro like crawl on all fours from the street to my driveway in my door and stayed on all fours the whole time. Like I watched people like really treat him like a whole dog. And then I realized at the end, that nigga paid to be treated like a whole dog. It was just some of the most amazing but crazy shit I've seen in my life. Like, I, I've been in that world. I've had fun in that world. But I've never, like, been in that world like that. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Rissy shut the party down. She had on her little leather suit with her whip. <laughs> with all that, with that big old red ass hanging out. Yeah, we, we, had, a, we had a ball. Listen, y'all. It's the reason why we still ain't put the foot. Cause I don't know if anybody remember this. I told him it's like, hey, we gonna put the footage out from the party. It's the reason why we still haven't. There are some women that I really respect and I love, and 
I don't even know if they would want people to publicly see them in that light. I don't know if they would want their mamas. <laughs> you feel me? They might be married now. They might be got a boyfriend, whatever. So I considered all those things and was like, you know what? Let's hold on to this. So we're going to have to figure out how to make this like super PG-13 because I fuck with them. And the last thing I want to do is they mama, they daddy, they son, or they soon to be husband because they done moved on with their lives. Like, damn, baby, I seen you on a ooh, ooh. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, just DM me the word birthday. And uh, I'll make sure you're the first person to, to get access to the tickets. Hey, man, my nigga right there got the pull up. Sean LaMail. Bro, you, man, listen. You know what? I ain't even going to talk say too much on the internet. I, ne I can never say too much about, bro, words can't explain. But goddamn Sean LaMail, y'all. Sean LaMail. Sean fucking LaMail. Bro, you know I done told you, bro, but you one of the dopest humans I ever met in my life, bro. I done met a lot of niggas, bro. I done traveled in the country, out the country. Eight kids, four baby mamas. Countless beautiful women, dope-ass women I've had interactions with. Dope niggas, city to city, state to state. I done met the biggest of the biggest. The Nips, the Banners, the Killer Mikes, the T.I.s. The, all the honorable niggas. All the honorable niggas, bro. You definitely in that bracket, bro. You like... I ain't gonna lie, bro, I said what I said today, bro. Like, they really need to. Bro, I wish your energy was, like, downloadable. I wish I really could tell niggas, like, hey, click the link in bro bio. And he gonna show you just how to be optimistic. He gonna show you how to smile all the time and just lift people without even having to say a word. Like, bro, your, your energy, bro, is just it's unmatched, bro. No human, bro. And I done met, bro, I done met some dope-ass women. I'm talking about women who have have left impressions on me that i'm gonna die with nobody's fucking with you bro like you you got that shit that niggas can't teach that shit just gotta i don't know it gotta be in you it gotta develop or something bro but my nigga you are a, uh my nigga you a national treasure <laughs> black culture need to just study you period bro because <laughs> that is one happy optimistic and i know bro be having shit going on like the rest of us do i know he do it's no way we all be having fucked up days but man that nigga will light your man listen nigga light your whole life <laughs> literally too <laughs> and when i say that nigga like big dog status he real big dog status the shit he able to pull off big dog fucking status <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to remember what movie it was. It's a it's a movie, bro. You remind me of somebody, bro. But you just that nigga shot man. Sean is the man with the plan. You need an answer, or you need to take your mind off the answer. Hit Sean Lamel. <laughs> he in the comments, y'all. Right there, he he just put a bunch of laughing emojis. Sean Lamel. You man, listen. She, you see, TT TT just said one on one. No, bro, really is that. And listen, every time I mention, bro, I had to give, like, a full-blown dissertation of who he is, man. Because that nigga is, he is, yeah. <laughs> the world need more niggas like Sean LaMare. <laughs> I promise you the world will be a better place. All right. Hey, y'all ready to get into these three things? I know we got off topic for 48 minutes, but who the fuck cares? This life, we having this human experience. And I was about to teach, but then I decided to just talk about some other shit. But yeah, if y'all ready to politic on what we was going to politic on, drop a one. I'm going to tell y'all something too. We got a coaching call tonight at 9 p.m. And if you haven't read the bottom, the co in celebration of Mother's Day, y'all got till next week. It costs a whole $13 to join. So y'all might want to join because I'm not going to fully get through this conversation. I only got 10 minutes left on this live, but you might want to fucking join. Uh, a lot of y'all spent money today on bullshit that cost way more than 13. You feel me? That Frappuccino you had, that shit came and went and you still ain't got your mind right. That, that, that bullshit ass dinner you had yesterday that you shit it out two hours later and you still ain't got your fucking life together. Uh, your quality of living still has not changed. 
the place where your children get their education still has not changed. The fact that you internally go into a state of depression every time you have to go to work still has not fucking changed. So when I say shit like you might want to join for $13, just in retrospect, just sit back and assess yourself for the last 72 hours and think about the things you have purchased that's way less valuable than this information. And, and in seven days next week, you still going to be in the same goddamn spot. Jay, you said bullshit ass weed from this bullshit ass plug. <laughs> Bro, I feel that. It be like that, bro. It be like that. Let's get into it, y'all. So, I said these three things are killing us. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I really got one, two, three. I really got ten of them. But I'm only going to attempt to read probably one or two. If you want the remainder of them, like I said, we got a coaching call tonight at 9 p.m. You're going to join for $13. Or you're just going to sit on the outside and shit i don't know hope, hope you find hopefully you still find another way to advance your life i ain't saying i'm the answer but i do know with this life shit i'm 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 kind of good at it i'm only 33 and this is my life so i'm i'm kind of decent at life i wouldn't say i'm the best i'm perfect i don't even want to be perfect but i would i would say at 33 i'm doing pretty fucking good for a nigga that ain't got no college no certification self-taught and really had to learn most of this shit on his own because i've been an entrepreneur since 2012 we didn't have no big homies. We didn't have no mentors. Nigga, we had 15 second videos. IG Live didn't exist when I was on Instagram. When I started my career, there was no Instagram Live. Holiday, yeah, but let's get into it, y'all. So number one, three things that's killing us. And I'm finna blow through this fast because I ain't got long. Poverty is number one. Drop a one as I talk. If you feel it, if you with me. And I'm gonna tell you again, you can join the program today for $13. You have until next week. So the same way a lot of y'all slept on the eight, you can sleep on this too. The price only going to fluctuate or go up, and you're going to end up spending, like I said, way more money on the same fucking information. Number one is poverty. The state of being inferior in quality or insufficient in amount. That's the definition. And this is me politicking. Regardless of your race, color, or background, this monster has no picks. It affects a vast majority of individuals worldwide. Even worse, many of us are unaware that we're living within poverty lines. Please listen to me good, because it's going to apply to a lot of y'all. A lot of us don't fucking know we, we even in poverty. Uh, more times than not, the state of... Let me pick this shit up. I'm reading from 10 feet away. All right, y'all. Let's get it. I got to hurry up. How long? I got, I got eight minutes. Uh, even worse, many of us are unaware that we're living within poverty lines. More times than not, the state of living is a direct result of us being dependent on outside entities to provide us with the opportunity. Would you underpay yourself? Answer that for me, y'all. Would you ever underpay yourself? Fuck no, right? Why the fuck would I devalue myself? I fuck with me. I love me. Would you devalue your self-worth and time? Would you do that? Has any of y'all ever woke up and like, man, I can't wait to do some stupid ass shit today? No, I can't wait to do some stupid ass shit with my time today. Literally, nobody has ever said that. that I, I don't know one nigga that be like, boy, I can't wait to get up tomorrow and waste a bunch of fucking time. Nobody says that, right? But you know, these other motherfuckers, that's exactly what they're going to do. Niggas going to underpay you, waste the fuck out your time, leverage you to their... Leverage you for what they need and then do away with your ass if need be. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Probably not. Well, it's extremely important to create your own opportunity to avoid dealing with such things. Far too many of us have been convinced, have been convinced to believe that we are comfortable and living a fruitful life because we have a vehicle. We purchased the latest Jordans and a roof over our head. The meal you skip weekly to save for materials like shoes will one day catch up. So hear me good, y'all good in you so let me let me let me let me expound on that real quick i said far too many of us have been convinced blah blah where am i oh the meal you skip skip weekly to save for materials like shoes will one day catch up so y'all you know like it really don't serve you no purpose to have all the fucking drip but internally your body is shit like i know a lot of y'all know this i've been wearing my sauna suit every day that's because i had to check my motherfucking self and go nigga I got a wardrobe in my Georgia house, and, and I don't say closet, I mean a wardrobe. I got a wardrobe in my Georgia house, and I got a wardrobe in my Florida house. And I had to check my motherfucking self to go, my nigga, you're not completely happy. Like, you happy, but you're not completely happy with, with your fitness, and you're not completely happy with the body. Why the fuck are you spending forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to dress that shit up to look all good, but nigga, underneath that, you hate what the fuck you see your damn self? That's really a lot of y'all. You feel me? So the meals you skip, and all the energy you put into, like, dressing some shit up that you actually hate... Nigga, that shit is counterproductive. Because, yeah, you look good to us. But when you strip down that night, when you strip down that night, you doing shit. Because, yeah, and I know you do it, nigga, because I be doing it. 
my my stomach has been so stubborn. The rest of my body is transforming. I done dropped 17 pounds in two and a half weeks. You say like you lost weight. I did, bro. I'm, I'm down to 224. I was 241. I'm going to get to 210. That's the goal. But, bro, I know the reality, nigga, because I be doing this stupid shit with y'all. Y'all, like, I have, like, wardrobe-wise, my wardrobe in Florida, easily, like, $200,000. And that's simply because I got Air Mags. I got Red October Yeezys. I got, like, a lot of exclusive shit niggas ain't going to never see in their life. But then I had to check myself, like, nigga, how you got a $200,000 closet in your Florida house? But when you take all this shit off, you don't, like, you like some of it, but you don't like all of it. My nigga, you backwards as fuck. So again, I be doing this stupid shit right along with y'all, which is why I'm able to elaborate on it so well. So like I was saying, niggas don't even know they be in poverty. Nigga, you a fly ass bum. Since you a good looking broke ass, bi I'm not gonna say bitch. I ain't calling nobody no bitches, but you a good looking broke ass young lady. You feel me? You look, baby, you, baby, you as fine as they come, but you don't even like how you look. Yeah, you get likes. Yeah, you get comments. You get hella DMs. You ever like and comment yourself? And I don't mean, I don't mean literally, but how many times can you look in a fucking mirror and be like, God damn, oh, this shit perfect. You feel me? But you, but you living for that, that facade of perfection through the likes and comments. Nah, we not doing that. How you drop 17 pounds in two weeks? Bro, I'm, I'm doing like a crazy fast and I'm working out three times a day. So that's how, bro, just being real with you. And I'm not going to lie, this shit is rough because when you're doing this type of fast, you're not really giving your body all that it needs and to go do a three-day workout but i'm just pushing because i'm in i'm in grind mode i'm in sacrifice mode and like my conclusion of how i look is overriding my temporary feelings so me my stomach hurting some days of growling and being like damn i feel weak like nah my nigga you gonna push through because you said that i'm not playing y'all dominican poppy is loading y'all ain't y'all ain't notice how dark i am like i've been tanning like a motherfucker you hear me i've like i've been i've been getting hella vitamin d i'm out in the sun running every day getting this shit done but yeah bro i'm on the same shit like i'm holding myself accountable like i'm telling y'all to nigga how the fuck bro i got two wardrobes i got two different cribs with a six figure closets in them but don't like the body under the clothes what you trip where am i where am i the meal you skip weekly to save for materials like shoes will one day catch up the lack of sleep you get to continue trading time for money will one day catch up the fast food you munch on daily because you can't make time to prepare yourself a meal due to overworking for the next individual's dream will one day fucking catch up. I keep telling you, a lot of y'all don't know you in poverty. A, a lot of y'all are so attached to the bag. Stop eating all that swine, bro. Bro, look, do me a favor. I don't like loud, dumb niggas. Don't be a loud, dumb nigga. I rarely block niggas, bro, but don't be loud and dumb. Like, in order for you for make, to make that assessment, you have to genuinely have to know me. So, like... What if I said, stop being a fuck, a fuck nigga who, who only got $2 to their name? That would be totally out of line, bro, because I don't know you. You feel me? So miss me with the goofy shit. Like, project on your mammy or, or one of them ugly hoes you probably fucking on. Project on yourself, bro, but not me. I don't, I don't like loud wrong niggas. I hate when y'all niggas be talking out with the matter of fact energy like you know me. My nigga, you would never sit with me. I don't even be around niggas like that who be on other niggas' lives, like, casting projections like bitches do. Y'all niggas be going out bad, bro. So, like, I'm going to say something factual. Why don't you get off my dick being uneducated and just get on your own dick and educate yourself? Because you'll have less time on your hands. You wouldn't be able to, like, worry about 33-year-old niggas who doing way more than probably you, your mom, and your daddy combined, and you'll just be on your own marathon. You feel me? This is why niggas like you need to join a coaching program. Now, I ain't getting off topic. This is why, y'all, this is why niggas need coaching. He, he didn't have a big homie. He didn't have a dad that was, like, focused on your own test. He clearly ain't getting the type of pussy he need because he's overconsumed with dick and not that pussy that he getting. He need coaching. I'm gonna say it again. Y'all, y'all miss me because like, listen, a lot of y'all have mentally advanced past that man. So to y'all, y'all like move on. No, do you know how many niggas don't have don't have internet etiquette? Do you know how many niggas are overly fascinated with everybody but themselves? That nigga need coaching. He need a big homie that be like, bro. Put your phone down. You what, You ain't figured out your own shit. Yeah, no, nah, for real, bro. He need a father figure. My daddy would have never went for that. My daddy would have slapped my phone out of my hand. Who you talking to? Oh, some strangers on the internet. I follow them. They don't follow me. They don't even know who I am. I just follow them. Give me your guy. Give me that fucking phone.